I've been seeing these trucks in this part of the country and uh, I'm not sure what, the, now I see this one's full, it's like pulp. That must be, uh, you know, ground up, logs all ground up. And then they're, they're using that for, uh, I mean, it looks like the stuff that fiberboard is made out of, so I'm guessing those mills that we were at earlier that had smaller trees, like maybe six to eight inches in diameter, they just grain those up into pulp and then they bring them somewhere to get them processed into, into wood. The stuff that we make, you know, houses and floors out of or whatever. Here's another one. You can kind of smell that pulp wood smell. Probably coming off the back of that truck. It's a smell of pulp town. Mm -hmm. Pulp mill. There's a runaway truck ramp. This is your brakes. You just go right into this really thick sand. Stop. 7% grade. Yeah, the truck smells like that stinky pulp smell. Full of that stuff. I don't know if that's a a byproduct. Maybe after they've ta taken, you know, as much of the lumber as they can from the size of the log, or if they just solely grind it all up. I don't know. That's where we were up there on that road a little while ago. On the, I don't know if you saw that sign, but it said, truckers, no fine for use of the runaway ramp. So, that's good to know. I mean, that way the guys know that, you know, hey, if you got to use it, use it, you know. Runaway truck ramp. It'd be pretty scary. This one's a downhill grade. You just hit this really thick gravel and get her under control. It's good to know they have those. Okay, we got another one down here a little further. Yep, here you'd be. Brakes are gone, 80 miles an hour. 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, wham, into that stuff, right up that hill, thick gravel, come to a stop, and clean your pants, and then get a tow truck.